When you think about a, a natural forest, it's an incredibly diverse and, and varied environment. There are multiple species of animals and plants that occupy multiple strata, the canopy, the understory, ground cover. There are different species which live in different niches. There are different water regimes. Cities are a lot like forests in that there are high variation in the types of environments that different animals, humans, and, and vegetation live in. And I think we need to think about cities as, as ecological systems or hybridized ecological systems that become something as a combination of, of natural systems and, and human intervention and not necessarily man versus nature, but something that's a, that's a combination of the two. My name's Ben Spencer, and I am an assistant professor at the University of Washington. I also run service learning program and design activism programs in the slums of Lima, Peru. We work together with community members to design and implement small-scale interventions in urban infrastructure and undertake green space projects, which improve living conditions and mental well-being in low-income urban neighborhoods. I think the processes of participatory design and the ideas that are kind of foundational to the idea of the creation of cities are important and we believe in the agency of, of urban citizens in creating their own spaces and, and um, taking ownership of their own neighborhoods. So I think the, the participatory processes and the, the theory that founds our work in Lima, Peru is universally applicable. Um, in both developing and developed countries and cities. I've really seen a lot of growth in the profession. There's been a, a real rise in interest in projects that are socially engaged as well as environmentally engaged that frame landscape architecture as a synthetic and problem-solving discipline that takes on a leadership position in multidisciplinary context. It is a, a profession which is at the forefront of shaping cities. So if we can think about urban environments as forests with a wide variety of niches and think about diversity of the types of interventions and vegetation and uses that those urban spaces accommodate, then I think we'll, we're going to have increase the vibrancy and livability of our city, make places that people really take pride in and, and ownership of. Thinking about urban environments in holistic and um, progressive ways which are, will transform the way that cities are shaped in the future.